Um, so I'm Olivia Weichel. I'm at the University of Idaho, and I'm going to talk to you today about Learn Static, which is an NEH-sponsored effort to develop um, static web-based tools for creating free and sustainable digital humanities web projects. So my colleagues on this project are my fellow librarians, Evan Williamson and Devin Becker at the University of Idaho, as well as Kate Thornhill and Gabrielle Hayden at the University of Oregon. Um, and so to start off, a static website is composed of flat HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. Um, in contrast to dynamic websites, which use server-side processing to render a page after a user chooses to navigate to it, in a static site, each page's code has already been rendered before the user navigates to it. So um, some examples of static web tools for digital humanities research already exist. Um, the Learn Static initiative Initiative, though wants to demonstrate that beyond being a viable option for DH projects in general, the methodologies behind static web development are actually especially well suited to enhancing DH pedagogy. And the reasons for this are that statically generated project sites are inherently sustainable and customizable, and they can be hosted for free as, and remain secure um, and functional with very little maintenance in the long term. So um, static web projects also allow students to learn highly transferable skills in data management, digital literacy, and web development. And this is because a project's code and data are usually openly available on GitHub, and they're not hidden behind a user interface. So that really allows instructors um, to be empowered to incorporate transferable web development and um, computational concepts into the DH projects that they teach. Um, so we understand that teaching statically generated projects can be daunting if you're just learning the concept for yourself, and that's where this grant, um, this project comes in. Um, a primary goal of Learn Static is to make it easier for both students and instructors to start incorporating this style of development into the classroom. And so to do this, we've come up with two components to our Learn Static project. The first is a series of what we call um, foundational learning modules. And these are really on-ramps for learning the basics of creating a static web project um, using the static site generator Jekyll and deploying that project site on GitHub pages. So there's five modules. Um, uh, we've developed a GitHub basics module, um, HTML, CSS, one on introduction to markdown, um, one on data concepts, and one on uh, computational methods. And each module is, um, is, is a GitHub repository that contains instructions for a 30-minute activity and instructors are meant to pick and choose which of these modules they need. So for, any, for example, does an instructor want students to come to class already having created a GitHub account? Um, then they would assign those students the GitHub module for homework ahead of time, and then be able to skip over some of those basics and jump right into creating their actual project in class. And then the second uh, learn static output is a series of learning sequences. And you can think of a learning sequence as sort of a, a teaching kit. So it contains a code template and a repository on GitHub, a demo project website, and a website containing documentation for students and um, sample lesson plans for instructors. So students will copy each learning sequences code template on GitHub and use the accompanying instructions to create one of these um, four types of websites. So we're developing a, learn, a digital collection learning sequence, a site that visualizes digital oral histories, a text analysis website that features multimedia essays, and a digital project recovery um, project site. So we're currently seven months into our NEH Digital Humanities Advancement Grant. It's a 12-month grant. Um, we're in the process of creating these learning sequences and modules right, right now, and we're collaborating with history and English faculty to test them out this spring. Um, we're going to finalize them this summer after receiving feedback from our advisory board and then release them for public use in August. So um, I encourage you to keep an eye out for that announcement and feel free to browse our work in our Learn Static GitHub organization. And please get in touch if you have questions or feedback. Thank you for your time.